Right, so here we go. We're back on the map maker tool. And down the bottom here, I've added in two input text, bo text boxes, uh, map file name and map actual name. I know it's not how you spell actual. Right, so yeah, we've got two uh, input text files, uh, text boxes. We've got uh, given them class names of map file name and map name, and we're going to be using them to um, reference our uh, maps and to give our maps uh, specific names. So. We need to first edit our um, maps table. Currently, we've only got tile class and class state. So, if we go into the structure, and we need to add two fields, and we'll add them at the beginning, and we'll say um, file name and map, oops, map name. Both going to be varchars. Uh, two fifty-five characters. Um, we also want to make um, our file name our primary key, and you'll find out why shortly. So. We now need to edit the save map function so we can include um, this information within uh, our when we send it over to um, the save file. So the first thing we're going to do is make a new solid and we we'll just call that data and we'll say it equals new array. Uh, under the where we're getting all the um, tile information, um, we're just going to say data um, file name equals the class of map file. name dot val and we're going to do the same thing but we're just going to say data map name equals map name dot val so we're now um, grabbing the contents of these files or the those text text boxes even and we're going to get ready to send them over now the only other thing we need is uh, data tiles equals tile the variable of tile so that should that increases the uh, level of our array and change the tile on the JSON uh, stringify function to data and we're sending over data rather than tile. <coughs> so we come over to our save.php file and we're grabbing data uh, up here and we're going to change this into data uh, tile as um, value sorry tiles and that should go in in one level of the array and only use the tile information. <coughs> We're then going to just say file name equals data file name and map name equals data 
that name. So now we need to set um, extra fields. So file name equals uh, file name and map name equals map name. So now whenever we save a file we should be able we should have um our map name and file name carry over and save into the database. So we'll give it a go. What we'll do is we will uh, get rid of that. We'll get rid of that file. We'll come over here and I'll draw up a map. Um, input the file names and then we'll see if it saves. Right, okay, so I have actually tested this and it failed um, so I've changed uh, where I had uh, file name class na um, map name etc I've just changed them to the index numbers and it seems to work fine and over on the save.php page I've just changed them to index numbers <coughs> so we can uh, fill this We'll just do that for now. File name, we'll name it test. And the map name, we'll just say test map. We save it. Okay, so we're done. Come over to our local host. What have I done wrong here? Oh, I never refreshed it, I don't think. Save. So try that again. test test map and save it done and there we go so is it now input in file name uh, the map name and the full uh, tile class and class state <coughs> the next thing we need to do is to work on adjoining maps so I'm just going to add in four text boxes here and I'll explain what they're for in a minute. So here we have the uh, link left, we've got link up, link right and link down and these correspond to maps that will link um, to the certain sides of the map so we can go from one map to another just by walking off the side of the screen. So we need now need to add that information into um, our array which sends over to the save.php So we'll say data um, three equals, and we'll say see if this works. Left is uh, the class of link left. Oh, use the wrong thing there. Dot VAL the up. Okay, so we've filled in them. We've got the left, the up, the right. I'm sorry, that's meant to be down. And over in our save.php file, we're accessing the data index of three. Left, up, right, and down. And now we need to again alter our database and add on four fields onto the end of the table. There's going to be link left, up, right, and down. 
Again, these are going to be Varchars. Uh, 255 and 255 250 I said 255 and of 255 <coughs> so I'm going to uh, add these on in here and see if it works okay so it works I've tried it um, so here we're got the link link uh, set there we're also inserting them into our database so we come over and we fill in them we fill in that go to save done ok and then when we come over here obviously the tile classes are empty because we didn't actually create a map we've got our file name our map name our class state We've got link left, up, right, and down. So that's all working as pl as planned. <coughs> so these uh, link links here, they're going to reference other uh, map file names, so we can load uh, up the appropriate file name when it comes to um, working on the map again in the next uh, in a couple of videos time the next thing we're going to be working on is loading so what we'll do is we will um, have a list of information over here and it's going to uh, be a list of all of the map names and file names and then what we'll do is we'll uh, <coughs> highlight one we'll have it highlight and then we'll import all the information in um, to all of these and we'll make the map uh, fill out with the correct classes um, so you know so we can edit an already made map and then resave it, and we work. I'll show you how to um, resave the sa same file name without inserting another with the same information. So I'm going to end this video here, and then we'll work on loading the map in the next video.